Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. I'm Norma Jansen. I'm a watercolor artist from Longville, Minnesota. And today I'm going to um, paint tulips. I got these tulips from my neighbor and I thought they were really, really pretty. I started working on them earlier and um, the first thing I always do before I do anything else is make uh, a value sketch. And I spend more time drawing than I do painting. That's where I solve all the problems that I think I might have when I'm doing my work. To me, if you're working with um, watercolor, the first word in it is water. And the method that I use is wet into wet, which is one of the riskiest watercolors to use or do. And basically the problem is whatever you put on there stays and you're stuck with it one way or another. Sometimes you can work out a problem and sometimes you can't. But the joy of it is you get wonderful things that happen. You, you didn't really plan it, you didn't know it, but sometimes it's the best thing that you can see on your paper. I also use um, pretty large brushes. I hardly ever, ever go to a tiny one. Um, and to me, again, that holds a lot of water and, you know, helps my paint. Okay, I'm going to start with my process of just kind of getting some colors on. And I think, you know, since they're so yellow and so orange, I, I want to go to the other side of the color wheel, which would be the blues or the purples, to kind of quiet it down. Also, if you do an opposite color, it makes that stand out more. So the first time around, to get as much on my paper as I possibly can. And I really think my very, to me, the paintings that I've done that I like the best are the ones that I've pretty much done at one time. And again, um, the problems, the big problems should have been solved because I did all that drawing. And the other thing with watercolor, anything that I put on here will be a lot lighter when it dries. Some people think that uh, painting is relaxing and um, I've never felt that way. I find it um, maybe stimulating, but I, I actually get very nervous when I'm working. To soften, you can also grab a, a dry brush. There's a, like a little shadow. Let's see if I can pull that out. Um, I basically, I do flowers. I like flowers. Um, my yard is full of flowers and in the winter time we have bouquets. There's always flowers in the house. But I have done um, buildings and uh, you know, more, some more rustic paintings, but I, I enjoy the flowers. And I like to choose, if I, it's possible, flowers that I have large petals. However, I've done uh, many different ones. I have, I always have my violets here year round and I've, I've painted them many times. And they have small flowers, but if you work with them in a cluster, it makes them appear bold.
this is very pretty in here. If I can find a way to put that on here, I would like to do that. Sometimes if I have a, a plant, like an iris, I'll take a, a, anything, toothpicks or my thumbnail or my knife or, or something just to kind of scratch in the parts. Anything in any good painting or drawing, you should be able to look at it from any direction. You can, it would be a nice painting that way and that could be very interesting. And somehow this could work, you know, change a few things up there. I think one of the things people notice about me with, they know right away, it's my painting. That's a Norma Jansen painting is the um, more abstract flow. Um, I know another artist uh, told me that she thought my paintings looked like they were floating. They had such a soft look. But it's, uh, I, I think if people know my paintings and they know me, they know, they know it's a Norma Jansen. Another thing that painters often do is take their painting and put it in front of a mirror and get the reflection back. And if it looks good to them, then, you know, something's working. So it's the same thing with, uh, with a good drawing. You should be able to rotate it. And sometimes you can find something if you rotate it that um, you could really improve on. By rotating it and turning it around, this is something that helps me find uh, something I need to improve on or something that isn't quite working. Or it might be it might be just the thing that I want. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org.